Hi guys, I am in the shop and uh, I want to talk today about the oil pressure in diesel engines. I received some uh, questions related uh, with the oil pressure and uh, the majority of the captains, the majority of the technicians, uh, the common sense is uh, I have low oil pressure, but uh, I replaced the oil, the oil pump a couple of uh, times and uh, the oil pressure continue low oil pressure. Uh, what is the possibility, Mr. Lopez? Let me tell to you something. In your boat, normally in the dashboard, you have a three gauge. One gauge for oil pressure, other gauge for uh, coolant temperature, and other gauge for uh, exhaust gas temperature. Uh, those three gauge are very, very important. You need to uh, keep a lot of uh, attention in those uh, gauge, the coolant temperature, the oil pressure, and the exhaust gases. Where is produced the oil pressure? Of course, the pump is the number one. The pump suction the oil, suction the oil through the strainer in the oil pan. And the pump, this is the pump, guys. You see the pump? It's a, it's a internal gear pump. That pump is, is bolted here and the pump engaged with the gear of the crankshaft and the gear of the camshaft. Okay, immediately the pump suction the oil. The oil enter here from the oil pan and the oil at high pressure enter in the cavities of the block. And uh, the oil immediately enter and create a film of oil here in between the bearings and, uh, and the journals of the crankshaft. This is the situation. Remember that the, the crankshaft is hollow. You remember that uh, video clip? Exactly, that one, you see? Oh, yeah. When the oil enter over there, the oil enter over there, you have the oil circulating, circulating in between the bearings and, uh, and the metal of the crankshaft producing the pressure. Yeah, the pressure is created here because the film, exactly. When, when those uh, metals, with, when those uh, burnings, the metal is gone, the oil pressure decrease. Those are the burnings for the crankshaft, and uh, those are the burnings for the camshaft. For that reason, what is the symptom number one when you have low oil pressure? Of course, the pressure in the gauge, the oil pressure gauge decrease dramatically. And uh, what is uh, the next action for the captain, for the pilot, uh, turning off the engine, check the dipstick, verify the color of the oil. If the oil is milky, uh, this is an indication that the water penetrate uh, the lubrication system, and for that reason you have a milky oil. Uh, if uh, the oil is uh, in good condition, but the pressure is low, uh, you need to take a sample of oil and uh, analyze the sample of oil. I recommend follow my, my poster, the poster, the oil sample analysis, and uh, send the, the, the oil, the sample of oil to the laboratory. As soon as you receive the report, you need to analyze the metal suspended uh, in the oil. Uh, what happens if you have excessive amount of zinc, lead, aluminum, copper, those elements are indicators that are probably the babbit the babbit in those in those bearings is gone and uh, that's the reason why the oil pressure decrease yes my friend uh, the the oil pressure in the gauge of uh, your boat in the gauge of your car depend uh, of the quality of those bearings the plain bearings the only way to know uh, if those bearings are in good condition is with the oil sample analysis Take a sample of oil, send to the laboratory, analyze the oil. Follow this video, the video that you have in the screen right now. This is a great video to analyze the oil sample. Only, only if you found that those dispersed elements is a possibility that uh, the plane bearings are down. Other symptom is that uh, you have a knock sensor activated. Um, if the knock sensor is activated, probably the babbit of those uh, bearings is gone. And, uh, the knock is produced. Okay, uh, oil pressure, of course, depend of the oil pump, but 100% sure is about the condition of the bearings. 
the plane bearings. How many plane bearings you have uh, in the engine? You have uh, two plane bearings. Plane bearings on the crankshaft and plane bearings of the, on the cam shaft. Those are the plane bearings of the cam and those bearings are over there in the journals, in the main journals of the cam shaft. Those are, are the lobes and those are the main journals. Exactly the same. Those, those uh, uh, bearings are located in the main journals, those main journals of the crankshaft. The main journals of the crankshaft. This, 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 and this. Those are the cramping journals located on the connecting rods. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. If you want a, a deep explanation about uh, uh, oil pumps, oil sample analysis, follow those videos. Uh, this is uh, our chapter uh, 10 of uh, our course of uh, diesel engines. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.